So new lead down box was greens, now purple. Love a bit of purple. It matches the ITU media stuff that I now do, which is very exciting. And it also matches Loughborough Lightning um, because they're in purple too. And I'm now their photographer for next season. So works pretty well. So camera box, this is what I carry with me. If you ever see me out on stuff, this is what I'm rolling around. Um, right, so I run, my system that I run is two camera bodies um, and two lenses. And that's it. Uh, there's not millions and millions of bits of kit. It doesn't need to be for what I do and the way I work and how I do it. Uh, so this is what I got. So I have a, a Canon 7D Mark II, um, which I couple up with a 70 to 200 uh, 2.8 version 2. The reason that I do that is because that 7D Mark II body is a crop sensor. So it runs at like 1.6. So that 200 mil becomes 320, which means I get... Um, loads of close type uh, shots basically uh, so that's kind of my action sport setup that's what I'm primarily shooting the majority of my stuff on uh, when I'm out at races I'm trying to get close I'm trying to get tight I'm trying to isolate people whether that's in a swim whether that's on a bike whether that's on a run whether that's kind of stuff um, you know behind the scenes whether that's netball that's the principal system that I use is these two here. What I then also have now is a, a 5D Mark III and a 24 to 72.8 version 2. That means I can get real, I can get wide. That's not a crop sensor, that's full frame. So that means that when I'm on these two together, that's 24 mil. So I can go really wide. I can kind of really open up everything and get those nice wide angle, big uh, kind of Vista shots, uh, which are good great for panning it's usually what I use when I'm panning I will flip from that camera into this system uh, when I'm panning with bikes or with swimmers or with runners or whatever it might be um, and I have custom functions set up for both of these cameras they're exactly the same custom functions so it doesn't matter which camera I've got in my hand I know I can flip to C1 or C2 on my functions and know straight away that I'm in the right settings for everything I need so that primarily is Still action sports, that tends to be um, panning shots and motion blur work. I do do stills on here, I do do panning on here, but primarily that's that's what I'm going for. So if you look at my recent stuff from World Series Knots, um, most of that big wide angle stuff is that, most of the close tight stuff up is this. Um, and that's it really. When I do PR marketing stuff with brands and federations and sports and athletes and stuff, it really depends on what I'm doing and what I'm shooting and where I am will depend on what kit I use. Um, tomorrow, more than likely, given the scope of the project that we're working on, I will be on a I'll be on bats. I would have thought because I need to be quite wide for the sh uh, shots I'm getting, and it's just the best system for me to use. I do carry a, a speed light with me, and I do carry a 50 mil uh, 1.8 lens with me. I rarely use them. That'll get used tomorrow. Um, it'll be one of my lights that I work with tomorrow. I've got some strobes and stuff as well. That I occasionally will pick up um, and do some bits and pieces with, but it's not very often these days. The only other thing in the box, which might seem a bit random, is this. Um, that's the lens collar um, for the 7200. There's very occasionally times when I'll run on a monopod uh, with this for different bits and pieces. And nine times out of 10, I will forget that lens collar. <laughs> so it sits in the box so that I remember. Um, otherwise I will forget it. And that's it, that's the box. Mm -hmm.